Hi everyone, Rose Eric Nosy here. We are back. You and I are playing uh, Rule of Rose. So I have just entered the port livestock area. The pig is busy eating. And this looks like something uh, that, that might be kind of important in some sense. So it reeks badly. It reeks badly because pigs are notoriously disgusting. Just kidding, I have nothing against pigs, really. Um, but uh, it reeks badly, so, I mean, you could think perhaps that's another sign of neglect. You know, people not taking care of things the way they should. Oh, it's a little goat! It's so adorable! Is it a goat? Oh, wait. Nate. Oh, it's a... I think they may be lambs. Names are written on the cage. Mary and Sally. I'm actually a little bit surprised that we have live animals, livestock on this boat because um, so far up until now, we've gotten two little goats. They are goats! I love goats! I love baby goats. Our uh, two little goats are shivering inside. Aww, they're very cold in this high altitude airship here. Um, so it, it seems that we've, we've been getting evidence that these children are not uh, very compassionate or caring to uh, towards animals you know um, we've been given we haven't directly seen but there's been evidence that perhaps they they were beating a dog um, this one looks like some but something got out something got out of this one because there's a hole in the back and I can't there's nothing to be seen is this a person hello person what in the world are all these animals doing here and as of right now, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still holding out for the possibility that none of this is actually real, that this is some sort of imaginary something or other going on, something supernatural or whatever. Um, but as, as for right now, I'm just going to take it as, this is some weird shit going on, but these are real animals right now. Now, is this an adult or is this a nasty little child? The unlucky girl met Wendy, the lonely princess. Aw, her and I can be friends! The princess saw that the girl was confused, so she smiled gently and said, <coughs> You're the new girl, aren't you? That's right, I am. <coughs> I'm Wendy. It's nice to meet you. <coughs> it's nice to meet you, too. You seem like a very sweet girl, Wendy. Are you sick? No one wants to be alone. That's right, Wendy. You are so sweet. You are the only person that I've encountered that... Uh... I care to even have any dialogue exchanges with. Empty cages are stacked up. Okay? A heavy stench of animals fills through the air. Empty cages, does that mean that they've been going through a lot of animals? They've been going through them pretty fast, perhaps? That's my impression. It seems more likely that these cages were previously occupied by animals uh, rather than them just being extra ones for the future. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Is that fair enough? What's this? It seems like it hasn't been used in a long time. Because children don't give a crap about washing their hands. Sanitation. So I've been thinking about everything that's happened so far. Yep, we already saw this. And um, what I'm going to be looking for is... Uh, oh, animal feed is scattered everywhere, rotting away. Animal feed. Okay, it looks like carrots and it looks like lettuce. Either lettuce or feathers, but it looks like carrots and lettuce kind of strewn all about. All about. So because of everything that I've seen here, I'm trying to think of what themes we can be uh, keeping an eye out for in this game. So we have a bunch of children who are basically uh, in charge of themselves. Um, so what kinds of things do children of this age go through? I was thinking about a few things that we saw. Somebody was kind enough to point out to me that the, the little girl in the mirror who was putting lipstick on was actually a boy. I think that they're, I think they're actually correct about that. Um, and I, I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me, but, uh, going back, it seems, it seems so. And if that's true, then, um... What we can be at least keeping an eye out for, or at least trying to have an open mind about, is finding things 
This, I'm back where I started, finding things that have to do with sexuality and gender identity. Because this is the age, I believe, that this is uh, the age that those things uh, start to come, start to become relevant in a, in a child's life. Even if, uh, you know, sexuality isn't, um, you know, not in a certain sense, but g gender identity, I guess, more so. Uh, you know, a, a lot of these children seem like they're only a year, perhaps, or two away from um, maybe hitting puberty and starting to go through that. So uh, we also saw the two children that I joked about in the opening uh, cinematic that they they seemed like they were um, the the two girls. They were talking about my name is Joshua. Um, I'll protect you, princess. Just give me a kiss. So they're thinking a little bit in terms of uh, gender roles and sexuality. I think I would not I would not go so far as to say that. Um, I, I can't possibly just categorize those two children as, oh, those are lesbians, but I think that there is definitely a theme of sexuality to be explored there. Large boards, huge pieces of cloth, thick ropes, and steel rods. Oh my, what could those be used for? They seem to be spare parts for the airship. Ah, well, thank you very much, uh, subtitles. You answered my question. You are most kind. Spare parts for the airship. Okay, table. Can I sit down at the table? No. Can I turn the light off? No. Can I take this? Oh, well, I'm glad to see that they have their safety code up to par. We have a fire extinguisher here. Come on. Show me something interesting. Oh! Balls. Uh, there's nothing special here. Then why even have any kind of description? I do not know. One thing that I can't help but do as I'm playing a game is always think what is the relevance of this part of the game or this this piece of the game uh, that the developers would put there. And perhaps I am a bit too analytical. It's just within my nature. And I know some people uh, don't exactly prefer that. They just say, oh, it's just a game. Just go with it. Well, that's not really how my mind really works. Um, I think that it's important to try to consider what relevance each detail has being part of the game because if you think about it the developer had to write code and uh, and, and animate and place every everything everything that you see is placed by the developer and if it's noted by description and by your character taking a look at it and examining it the developer put that there so it has to form uh, it has to serve some purpose even if it is um, small so that's what I tend to look at all right so is this girl gonna be nasty with me again yep okay so I think I may have done uh, may have done a full circuit of everything here I still need to find something sharp to cut down those uh, or rather I need something long to get the scissors to get uh, I need something long to get the scissors to cut down the dog so that's what I'm going to be looking for uh, from now on. <coughs> okay, so I tried talking to this lonely princess again. No one wants to be alone. And she gave me a little bit more dialogue, which I love getting. Are you looking for a butterfly? I saw one flying around on the first floor. And she actually gives me some... No one wants to be alone. No, give me the one that I saw before, just before I turned the camera on. Are you looking for a butterfly? No, okay. Well, anyways, I saw one flying around on the first floor. That dialogue right there tells us that this girl is uh helpful. She is going to be a helpful entity, hopefully, for the remainder of the game. And that's very that's very heartening. Yes, that's very that's very encouraging. All right, guys, I went through and uh, checking different areas because it seems like in this game, um, different areas and rooms may open in a certain order, certain sequential order, once you've visited other rooms. So I was able to get into this uh, working class luggage room, I, I think it was called, in the same area that we found the butterfly. So I went back looking for the butterfly and I was able to get in. Let's see what there is, uh, let's see what there is to see. Uh, the butterfly is no longer there, by the way, which is interesting. Oh, sewing machine. I wonder if we know how to sew. Ah, this appears to be a special box. 
Excuse me, special box. Look it! Clearly a special thing. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's interesting. See that box? See that box there? Can I use this? Alright, let's see if there's anything in my inventory that I can use on this sewing thingamajig. Dog collar airship map. That's literally what I have, which does me absolutely no good. What's this say? There's a small diary with a, with a floral pattern on its cover inside the glass case. Take it. However, the case is locked. Hmm. Okay, so we need to find a key. What about this stuff? What about this? Is this a thing? Is this an anything? Right, so it seems like there's nothing for us to do in here right now, but we will keep in mind that there is both a locked away diary and a sewing machine in here. Okay, it looks like I found another new little area. I'm pretty sure that this is that this is new, but we found a dressing room. We found a dressing room, and so far there's nothing. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl. Tell me your tale. Ah, it's the trash bin. Stock an item? Yes. Let's see what we have in the bin. Do we have anything in the bin? Ah, uh, we have nothing in the bin. Okay, uh... Oh! Hello, poor helpless unlucky girl, tell me your tale. Ask for clues. If memory serves me correctly, you are in search of a butterfly. A butterfly you are in search of. The green butterfly is the one you wish to follow. Offer the butterfly to the aristocrats. That's your only clue. Yes, I already knew that. I was already fairly aware of that. But, uh, the butterfly seems to have disappeared. Uh, I have no idea where it's gone. I'm just gonna have to go through and recheck basically everywhere. Oh, phone. Can I use the phone? No. I'm gonna have to basically go through everywhere that I've already been and try to find more rooms like this that, uh, have opened up. Is this one of them? No. Alright guys, I found some gadgets on the wall. Hopefully we can tinker with stuff. <clears throat> Electric panel. Let's see if we can do anything with it. I presume that we will eventually. No, uh, nothing can be heard from it. Alright, so we already looked at this. That's not helpful at all, game. Damn you. Guys, I think I found something that we haven't seen before. I am in the smoking room with uh, the little boy who's playing in a circle. And uh, we have a newspaper, 21st of April, 1929. I forget which year we're actually in at the moment. Could be 1929, but doesn't sound familiar. The world's largest airship to take flight. In anticipation of, uh, of the coming era of airship travel, Britain announced the completion of the world's largest airship. In its long-awaited first flight, it will lift off at Cardington and fly to India by the way uh, by way of London. All of Britain eagerly awaits the inaugural ceremony. Along with the mayor and the countess, children from the local orphanage will participate in the ribbon-cutting ceremony. So maybe this is actually happening. It's uh. I don't know. I'm still kind of trying to feel out uh, the rest of the, uh, feel out this game. Third passenger corridor. I think this may be new. What's this? What's it say? Cloverfield. I'm not entirely sure if we've been here before. Oh yes, we have. We have been here before. Dirty, right? Dirty. Filthy. 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 Guest room hall. Okay. Oh my lord. This is new. What is this? I want to look at that! No, there's something here. Sparkly! Ignore the sobbing child! Jennifer found a copper leaf. It's shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? More than likely. 
Oh, child, please stop screaming. Oh, the butterfly, it's dead. Look it, look it. The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. As the princess cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on. A green butterfly is on the ground. Take the butterfly. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. You deserve to be gobbled up. Oh. My. Word. It's a fork with sharp prongs. About equipping items. Some items can be equipped as weapons. Oh my word. I'm going to have to use this fork as a weapon. Just check to see if the equip option is available when you select the item in the main menu. Oh my word. Desert? Dessert. Dessert fork. It's a dead green butterfly. The wings are tattered and mostly fallen off. That's kind of gross. Well, let's equip my fork. Let's equip my fork. Yes. There we are. There we are. We're safe now, guys. We're safe. We're safe. I have a fork. Uh. Uh. Am I able to... Anything. Uh. I'm not... <laughs> not actually... Not actually able to use the fork. Alright. What do we have here? Two leaf clover. It's locked. Bush! Plant! Bush plant! Uh, that's where we came from. What's this? Four leaf clover. Locked. Locked. And finally, a one leaf clover, which I think we have because we have a one leaf. No, no, it's still locked. Hmm. Let's try using some of the stuff that we have gone through so much trials to obtain. Nothing happened. Isn't that splendid? What is this? Let's try using it here. Excuse me, Cupid. No. Can I give it the fork? Is it the fork of truth? It may be. It very well may be the fork of truth. We may never know. What's over here? Ah! Three leaf clover. What, what's written there? The way to the... Clover... Basin? Field? Something? I can't, I can't exactly read all that. <clears throat> it has some, it has some chicken scratch on it. Alright, back down. So maybe, now with this fork, now armed with the fork of truth, I may be able to uh, get down those scissors so I can rescue the dog. Plus I have a dead butterfly, which as we all know is the most appropriate gift for any occasion, really. Lavatory. It must be because of the crack in the mirror, but you see the illusion of a strange man in the reflection. Foreshadowing! Yes, we've already been here. I'm double checking, guys. Things tend to change. Things tend to change. Ah! Should have brought the soap with me. I could have rubbed it on my hands and then touched my attacker's face, got soap in their eye. That would have been the perfect weapon. Probably a lot more effective than my fork. This is the little boy. So this, this may possibly be the little boy who dresses as a little girl. Which is really interesting to me. I'm very interested to see more about that. Alright. Sector 10, crew cabin, here we come. Have I been here? Have I been here? Yes. I just made a circuit. Yep, I just made a circuit. Excellent. Guys, we're making progress. I know exactly, exactly what to do. To the scissors! Alright guys, we're back in the room that started it all. Let's get those scissors. Come on, reach! 
Jennifer, reach! Oh, come on! You have a fork! You have a fork! Eh! eh. Ah! Use the fork! Use the fork, Luke! Use the fork! Damn! I am so frustrated at this point. Ugh, I wonder if perhaps I need to use the butterfly as a tribute. Let's just try using... No, nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. Of course nothing happened. Alright. Screw this. You know, I just don't understand. I just do not... I do not understand. Well, oh, oh, oh. No, I didn't actually figure anything out, but it made me feel better. Chair. There is a chair right here for goodness gracious burgundy's sake. Alright, screw it. We're gonna go we're gonna go try and offer a dead butterfly. Let's see if that gets us anywhere. Guys, somebody's crying. This is new. This is new. Oh! Is that the little <gasps> Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Battle! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life! Uh, 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 I don't like it! I don't like the music! Sometimes enemies will jump out and impede Jennifer's progress! Oh god! I don't want to do this! I don't want- I don't want combat! Hold down the R1 button to ready for attack and press the X button to attack when you inflict greater- uh, You will inflict greater damage if you have a weapon equipped. Oh my god! Getting hit or grabbed by enemies will deplete your health. To shake them off, quickly move the left analog stick back and forth. If you keep taking damage, you will slow, uh, you'll slow down and eventually collapse, and the game will end. So, remember to replenish your health by using recovery items after taking damage. I'm going to save! This sucks. I do not want to- No! It's scary! No! Don't hurt me! Don't touch me! Get away from me! Ah! No! No! <laughs> I cannot actually... Oh. That wasn't... Oh. oh man, I cannot unsee its face. Well, apparently I'm going in the right direction if I'm running into enemies now. Oh my word. Feeling a bit nauseous, to be honest. Feeling a bit nauseous. Oh boy. Let's see. Maybe we can use the fork to open the glass case? I don't know if that even makes any sense. I don't know. I don't know. Can we sew the fork? Can we sew it? No. Oh, I was really hoping there wasn't going to be combat in this game. Use the fork! No. Alright. Nothing. Nothing to be done. Nothing to be done. Alright. I am apparently going the right way because... New things have occurred. New things have occurred. So, I'm actually going to keep you guys right where you are as I... Uh, try to figure out where I'm going. Stairway. This is the right way. A... He wanted to find... She was 
Oh my. Where is this coming from? Okay, so luck. This this idea of being lucky and unlucky seems to be a recurring theme as well. Four leaf clovers. Who is... Who's reading? It's dr Who's reading? Shut your face. Is this library. Can I open the library now? Yes! No! Damn it. Ah! Uh, this is immense. That's loud! It's getting louder! No, no, no! The library! The library. It must be in the library. There's two doors to the library. This one. All she wanted was to be happy. Maybe that's who's reading? I don't know. I don't know. It's so loud! Stop it! I need to find who's... who's. I need to find who's doing this. It's driving me nuts. I'm going a little bit crazy. Oh good, it stopped. Well, it stopped in here. So we're in the wrong place. I don't want story time! In here? This one was previously locked. Yep, it's still locked. Fudge. Ah, uh, ga 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 What's this? It's in the shape? This is unlocked, right? No, dressing room! Maybe it's coming from the lounge, where there's the offering box. Nothing new in here. Nothing new whatsoever. I'm disappointed. Is it over here? Can I look at this picture? What about this? VIP room. Still locked. Apparently we're not important enough yet. That will all change. Wouldn't it be really interesting if you could actually climb your way up the uh, aristocracy? Huh? Huh? Alright. Make an offering. Here, have a dead butterfly. The reading stopped. The gift box door said to the unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and then you shall be invited to join the Aristocrat Club. What just popped out? I think, did it give it back? <laughs> Did it give it back? What was that little thing that popped out at the bottom? The drawer. Ah, it gave it back. Okay. <clears throat> See if there's anything to do with this door again. Door. No. Open the door. Yes. Of course it's locked. Of course it is. Well, you have to try everything. That's my motto. It's not my motto. What's this? And a one-leaf key. A one-leaf key. That's excellent. Key. A one-leaf clover adorns one end of it. Good. I'm going to first and foremost try this on the diary. I'm going to check basically every locked door I've come across uh, since, though, just to double check. And uh, you'll definitely know if I find something. Guys, something bad happened. I just walked out the door. In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. It actually looked like he was holding a gun at me for a second, but then the image changed. The man quietly handed her a storybook. I swear it looked like he was holding a gun. The Clover Field. 
Horrible movie. Horrible. The Cloverfield. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. This is what we heard being read to us. And there's nothing. There's no more. There is no more. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. All these storybooks. Hmm. And he's gone. That's very interesting. <clears throat> so we, now we have two storybooks to be keeping track of. All right, let me make my way back to the diary. Yay, I made it back without encountering any more horrible, horrible, disturbing abomination enemies. So I am going to bet that this key either unlocks this or unlocks the one leaf door. Nothing happened. How wonderful. One leaf door it is. <laughs>